Today I'm doing a video review of a laser rangefinder or laser distance meter by a company called Saki or Saki. Uh, I think it's pronounced Saki. Pretty cool little device here. It actually connects via Bluetooth to your phone or it can be used standalone. And I was kind of uh, worried that it would not be very cool or very accurate when I got it. But uh, I have put it to the test and I must say I am pretty impressed with it. Um, everything from the way it looks and the way it operates to uh, how accurate it is, is pretty impressive. In the box you get a little lanyard, you get an instruction manual, it's in like five or six different languages, and you get the batteries which are already installed here. And as soon as you turn it on you get a little guy wave at you and it's instantly ready to go. You just uh, point and press the button and it tells you instantly how far away it is. And I measured this, uh, I tested this uh, measuring a room that is about 17 feet, and it was accurate to within about a sixteenth of an inch. So pretty impressive there. So you've got uh, distance measurement, you've got height measurement. It actually measures using the Pythagorean theorem to tell you the height of a, an object if you want to know how high a tree or a large building is. Uh, area of a room measurement, um, and then you got average height measurement. You just measure two different points um, on the same plane and it'll tell you what the distance between those points is. Pretty simple, very easy to use. You just point and click. Uh, very simple. It's got a quarter inch stud on the back so you can mount it to a tripod or a transit. And uh, very simple. You can turn on Bluetooth, change it from feet to meters, and you can set the reference point to be the front of the device, the back of the device, or the middle of the device very easy. So let's get into the testing here. Um, as far as Bluetooth goes, um, I wasn't really able to get uh, very proficient with the uh, the app here. Uh, basically what I did is I took a, a picture of that wall there and you're supposed to be able to go in and put in points on your picture or on its built-in uh, graph paper mode there, and then you're supposed to be able to measure those, and it should tell you all the different measurements. Um, I wasn't able to do that with the, la the laser just in the testing I've done, but it did connect really well, and it did distance measurement using the app just fine. So I have to play around with that a little bit more and see if I can get it set up here. But let's go into Bluetooth mode, and we'll turn on Bluetooth here. And it comes on instantly. Um, I had no problems connecting at all and as soon as it's connected you just press that and it, uh, it'll turn it on and get uh, a measurement. Pretty simple. And uh, that part works really well in terms of getting it to correlate those measurements to something on the picture. I need to play around with that some more. So let's uh, go ahead and get into the other test. I'll show you how well it works and how accurate it is. All right, we're going to do an area measurement first here. Uh, all I'm going to do is set it with its back end at the bottom of this wall here. And I do have it set to the reference point being the back of the device. You can set it to the back, middle, or the front. I'm going to set it to the back, and then I'm going to point it at that wall down there. And uh, you just point it at the bottom of that wall. And then I'm going to press the button. And we got 17. 0.772 feet. And then I'll come over here and I'll do the same thing pointing at the other wall. Bottom of that wall. We've got 239.529 square feet. And I calculated this out earlier and I've got 239.81 square feet. So we're about 0.3 square feet off. Um, but that's pretty, pretty accurate. If you're a real estate agent and you need to go and be able to go into a room and calculate the square footage of a house real quick, that's going to be uh, accurate enough for most people. Um, Let's go ahead and do a uh, straight line measurement test here now. For distance measurements, I've got it pointed at that wall over there alongside my trusty tape measure here. And we're getting uh, 213 inches and 3 eighths there. And uh, actually a little bit uh, 
a little bit less than that because it is coming up about an inch and a half here. But on the tape measure, I got 17.789, and uh, that actually calculates out to uh, 17 feet and 9.42 inches. So it's within an eighth of an inch. Uh, I think if this were on the ground, it would probably be within a sixteenth of an inch. So that's pretty good for uh, distance measurements. Anything within an eighth of an inch is uh, going to do the job just fine. We're going to do the height measurement using the Pythagorean theorem. And basically I've got some marks here. I've got a mark at three, four, five, six, and seven feet. I'm going to come over here to the other wall and at a fixed point I'm going to point it first at the, the baseboard and then up at each one of those points and it'll calculate out the height at each one of those points and we'll see how accurate it is. So first measurement is going to be at the baseboard. Then I'm going to come up to the first line. And we got 2.927 feet. So that's pretty close to 3 feet. Let's see what we get on the other ones. Do this again. Baseboard. Up to the 4 foot line. We've got 3.917 feet. That's still pretty close. Do this again. Got the baseboard. And come up here to the five foot line. Got 4.961 feet. So it's reading a little shy, it sounds like. Looks like. Come up here to the five foot line. Oops, I did it wrong. Baseboard. Oh, this is our six foot line. Got 5.988. Do it again. Baseboard. And the seven foot mark. And we got 6.965. So they were all reading within like, uh, you know, 0.5 to point, uh, 0.05 to 0 0.04 feet. So that's actually pretty good. That's within an inch, I think. So this would be really handy for measuring the height of a tree, measuring the height of a large building, something where an inch or two of accuracy isn't going to be a big deal. Um, something like this where you're just trying to measure the height of one wall or something within three feet is probably not the most uh, ideal situation for that, but uh, a good test in practice anyways. So we've done area, we've done Pythagorean theorem, you can calculate the side of an equilateral triangle, uh, distance measurement and uh, I'll show you guys the level function. Here's a window and it is mostly level. Pretty close. Go ahead and put this on there. You can see we're 0 0.5 degrees. So it's about as accurate as that level anyways. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the, the function and the design. It's designed really well. I like the way it works and the, the way it's uh, shaped and everything. I'm going to go ahead and give it a five stars. Make sure you hit yes for found this review helpful. Hit the thumbs up button on the YouTube video and subscribe to the YouTube channel.